Now I'm coming out into the pastures. You can see the big house there. My house is over there. You can see the porch to the left. Now this area here where Pistol is was all flooded. This was about a foot of water all through here. Uh, if we look care carefully at some of these trees, you can see the uh, beaver damage at them. So my idea is to clear this property. And I had the cows out here. You could tell there's been a cows out here. Uh, the problem is, is the mothers would come out here. They like to give birth in this grass where you can't see them, the shade or the brush. So it became difficult to find them when they were calving. But it'd be nice to have this cleared off. This is a long piece right here. Uh, I will continue this later. We're coming down here and Pistol is tangled. Nice work, Pistol. Come on, buddy. Come on this way. So I put this roadway in. This is an old tractor, old road that, now this was all underwater. Now we're getting to like a couple of feet of water at this point. All the way to, you can see those trees over there that are on the side, growing sideways. Those are apple trees. The water was up to those. There is uh, beaver um, shipping on one of the, or maybe both of those trees that they intended on taking them into the swamp. All this was flooded over by beavers. This was the main dam that we spent years trying to get rid of the beavers. This was the main dam right here. Now what I have here is we reditched all this. This was a ditch that was put in by the Corps of Engineers, but they didn't go as deep as they had that back one. So we made it a little bit wider and cleaned it out because it had overgrown in, in uh, the 50 years. Um, but that goes all the way, another one we extended to go all the way back to the property. And that takes water from Shine Hill all the way to Shine Hill Road on what is Doris Aubrey's property and I put a 40-foot culvert to drain the property on hers uh, better which dried off all of this much better and so the Corps engineers had the right idea it just uh, grew up <laughs> in 50 years so I just redid it now this is where it all meets <clears throat> so this comes together it was a pretty good idea I don't know if Hans designed it, probably, I imagine they all did, because I'm sure he was very involved, he was a hands-on guy. So this ditch comes together right here, and then the two ditches, how they join from the pond, this is them together, and then that one, that ditch, is goes along the field. I have th two other culverts that go across that ditch onto this property that is part of the pond property, I call it. But this is where they had it all flooded, right here. So then all this water gathers right here, and it goes all the way down there towards the big house, takes a left-hand turn, a 90-degree left, and runs all the way down the property, down to my, in front of my house, and then <clears throat> goes out to 196, which it shouldn't because there's way too much water. All goes out to hits 196 head on in a right angle turn and then takes a left and runs down underneath my driveway and floods that area that goes into the Champlain Canal waterway system. I've been trying to clean it for years. DOT, New York State, they all fight me. But I'm just trying to do the right thing and, and make it work better. And uh, <clears throat> it's beautiful. Uh, they did a great job designing it. I'm sure Hans had a lot to do with it. He was a smart dude, and uh, he um, he really loved it here. So that was the barn. He replaced that barn with a concrete bar. This is another video altogether.